choose either test one or test two doesn't really matter and you get your load screen and you're into the track and if you put the track down you can see the dark road they did and with the orange borders okay going back to photoshop now I'm going to open a few more files that you probably want to consider for your mod as they're uh, used in quite a few places is stadium road grid D and start logo D and we'll do the turbos as well stadium road turbo D open those three and you can see this is the grid texture used on wall rides, loops and on the edge of, road, of a road when it's in the air this is turbo and this is the start logo you see um, on the starting panels at the side so I'm going to start off just by doing the grid and adding some colour to it and I'll do the same as before by using the colourise technique Okay, and do it here as well. And there we go. That's quite a basic one to mod. And I'll just add something to this just so you can see how it works. And you get some clouds. And for editing the turbo, this can um, be a bit harder because the road you have to the this the white road colouring here you must change to the same um, colour as the road you've changed um, on the, under the normal texture. Otherwise, there'll be a um, big difference in the darkness of it. So first I'm just going to select all these colour parts so there you go, once you've selected all these coloured parts you can just make it a separate layer so you've got the layer just with these colour bits on and then with the background you can quite easily just select these lighter bits so there you go, once you've selected these road bits make sure you're on the texture or the layer that still has the road and you can just make it darker to about the same as the road was and then just get rid of the colour like we did for the road as well So once you've done that, you can change the colour of the colours, the turbo bit. Quite easy to select that layer. And blue turbos. There we go. And that's it for a turbo, basically. So I'll save these three files that I've done here into the test mod folder under image make sure it's saved as DDS with the same file name and just keep DXT5 Save this last one. Uh, 
And there we go, once you've saved all these these three new ones, we've now got six in our test mod. And the same as it last time, we just send this to a zip file. This time, instead of calling it test1, do test2. And cut that, and go to your mod folder under your Trapmania documents. And when you paste this in, it should replace the old test2 folder we made. And so now, without having to restart Trapmania, you can test out the new mod. I load it up and do test 2 and you can keep switching between test 1 and test 2 whenever you're testing there we go, look at the road and you can see the grid on the side it's orange put a loop in it's got an orange grid. And we've got blue turbos. So when making your own mod, you can just experiment with just look at the textures that are in the folder, look at their names and if you just try out put them somewhere see if it works if it doesn't just try again just what you gotta do when you're making mods um, thanks for watching, bye